Okay, well, we're progressing. We're starting to see some of the rebuilds starting to happen and getting out of all the demolition and uh, prep work and structural work. And we're getting to a point now where uh, now and moving forward, we're going to be on to the rebuild. And now we're in at the stage where we're about 80% 80, 80 complete of, of completing the drag struts on every floor. And the drag struts are these um, infilled concrete beams with steel going, going along and Nelson Studs connecting the steel with the concrete. And the concept is when their shear force happens in an earthquake, that uh, the drag struts catch some of that shear and they drag it back to the shear walls. The shear walls now for the uh, old 1914 portion of the building are all built up uh, almost all the way to the top of the fourth floor. We've got the uh, shear walls four, five, and six that have one more floor to go, but the rest of them, all these walls that are approximately uh, 14, 16 inches uh, thick and uh, as long as you can see, they go up through each floor all the way up to the top of the building. And as I said before, then, then these drag struts that go through the different floor systems, both parallel to the floor joists and perpendicular around the outer edge, that drags all the force into these shear walls. This is where we were, uh, last time you were here, we were excavating down and doing all the underpinning in this area. And it's all been built back up. Now we have our concrete slab and then this is all, on, on this side is all our new Northeast stair tower and our new addition and the tie-in coming in here and we're building up and as we go around you'll see that uh, it's progressing now up to the second, third floors and uh, the stair tower, the new stair tower on the west is also progressing. And you can see we've got coming from the boiler room, we've got some of the, the, the rough end piping starting to happen on our rebuild and that's coming over to this area here is a new gender neutral change room for, for the gyms, yeah. This is an example of, of the drag struts and this is where the, the existing floor system and joists come in perpendicular to a wall. When you look at all these little cutouts from floor one all the way up to uh, the attic, there's actually 5,000 of those cutouts that had to be cut out for all this drag strut installation. We have in this room here, we have an example of, of these drag struts that are now completed. So they've been, the concrete's been poured and uh, we're ready to go on to the next stage. We're on level two now. We're trying to restore level two back to the original heritage. And so we're gonna be restoring the flooring and all the uh, upper bulkheads and, bulk and upper cornices. So along the corridor here, because of with the drag strut work, we had to demolish all of these bulkheads um, all the way down the side and going across. So all the bulkheads will, we did a mock up here, and all the bulkheads will be, will be built with a steel stud and drywall bulkhead. And then we did mock ups using wood and using plaster and to see what would work best and what would be most cost effective to rebuild. So we're really happy to uh, be able to restore all the uh, egg and dart cornice and the, and the trims back in into an original plaster mold. The seating in the auditorium, they're old original seats and uh, some of them need a bit of upgrading and so the architects are, are going through doing a survey inventory of them. We'll try and put some funds towards uh, upgrading some of the seats that require it. The last time you were here, all these, there were these clay tile walls through here. There was a clay tile where the shoring is there. There was a clay tile shaft for the mechanical. And all those clay tile walls and shafts, part of this seismic upgrade was to get rid of those because they were, they were a falling hazard in an earthquake. And so they've all been demolished. So as you see, it's big open space now. We're here now up on level four. Behind me there is shear wall number one and shear wall number 11. And they're, they're finished up to the very top now and capped off with uh, sheet metal. Uh, we are restoring all the jams and sills around the windows. Um, and then the, sh the window sashes and the uh, nine pane on the top and the pull on the bottom. Uh, they'll all be re replaced and uh, look exactly like the originals, but uh, 
will be upgraded with the thermal uh, units where we have four mil glass uh, and then the airspace argon filled and then four mil glass again. So uh, a big upgrade with the energy efficiency and maintaining the heritage uh, values of the, of the school. So the existing entry, entryways, uh, both sides and the south, uh, there's going to be some upgrade to that and then all the entranceways are going to be cleaned and the terracotta pieces are going to be replaced and refurbished. Skyward ledges are going to be cleaned up and waterproofed and uh, there's going to be some brick uh, repointing. The terracotta window ledges are going to be refurbished along with the windows. Okay, so we're at the northeast uh, portion of the project now. This is the new NLC building portion and this is the outside corner of the footprint of uh, what's going to be our, our new NLC building and in behind it will be the uh, multi-purpose room for the community and the school to use both and behind that the new stairwell that uh, is part of all the seismic upgrading of the of the school.